Farmers who applied and were pre-selected to lease and cultivate farmlands at the Grand Bar and Diamond Estate are engaged in a, the second phase of training on the Pilot Agriculture Land Bank project. The project will help to reduce idle or underutilized land, improve access to fertile land for landless farmers, women and youth interested in agribusinesses. 33 participants will participate in a workshop for the next three days, which is funded by the FAO and implemented by the Marketing and International Importing Board with support from the Ministry of Agriculture. Joseph Noel is the coordinator for the Pilot Agriculture Land Bank project. And we want to ensure that what happens at the pilot sites um, are very successful because the intention is to upscale in the next few years to a national agricultural land bank and to the point where we can invite private landowners who have their lands sitting idly by or abandoned to deposit their lands in the land bank and then we can list this out to people who want to get into agriculture but have no access to lands. The training will contain both practical and theoretical components on capacity building service for Ruth and tuber crops and quality requirements for the local market. The first phase of the training, which started on November 15th and concluded on December 10th, focused on the management and operations of agribusinesses. Senator for Agriculture Roderick St. Clair, in his remarks, spoke of the importance of such training. Now, root crops is an excellent choice because that goes into the heart of our food security system. It is less um, susceptible to floods and, and winds and so on. It also is a good source for energy. It is also a good source that can be stored for a long period of time. But most importantly, there is so much opportunities for value addition. We can see the potato chips, we can see the puris, we can see all of those different value-added products. Chief Agricultural Officer Trevor Thompson encouraged the farmers to take advantage of the opportunity given to them. So I want to say to you that this was a dream and a vision that took a lot of effort, Mr. 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 Joseph alluded to it, to become a reality. And you have a great opportunity I want to say to you, grasp all of the knowledge you can to dig from this training so that at the end you will be the best farmer. When we have to think about farmer of the year, we, we have to hot our, he our heads to come up with the, with the final candidate because everybody will be doing so well. At the end of the training, all participants will receive a certificate of participation from the FAO, MNIB and the Ministry of Agriculture. For GBN News, I am Rina Pet Thomas reporting.